Hi friends, what's up? Hope you are enjoying tutorials of Multi Android Zone. Today I am going to show you an exciting tutorials on basic Android shopping cart example. First, we will go through the overview of these apps. And for more exciting tutorials on Android applications, subscribe to Multi Android Zone and stay tuned. Now, application overview. Several products items are placed in a shopping cart. We can modify the shopping cart to be able for purchase multiple quantities of product. Its feature is you can view the contents of the shopping cart. You can add or remove the items of shopping cart uh, as you want from the paper list. And here is an example of a shopping cart. The cart has the two books. Checkbox is used for add item to the shopping cart and the two buttons for add items to cart or remove the items from the cart. Now application workflow. This is a controller and it has all model class reference. It can call any of these models. Model product and model cart are the class for provide data for views. And screen 1, screen 2 and main activity are all the views that have controller instance. And every view have controller reference. So if required data from the model then use controller instance to get model reference and get data from model. Now points to remember. This tutorial represents an introduction to creating and shopping cart for Android. There are number of ways that this application can be improved. Include option to display user reviews. Include options to handle quantities other than one. Add more items to catalog. Purchase shopping cart data. You have to add payments gateway to this application. Now let's have a look how to create shopping cart in Android. File new Android project. Give your project name is cart example. Then next select Android 4.0 open source project 4.0.14 API level then give your package name is com dot cart and your activity name is main activity then finish first I am going to browse to main.xml first take a text view inside this linear layout and then take a linear layout vertical and a button and look at that main.xml delete this inside the linear layout change field parent to match parent of height and width and text view width is wrap content height is wrap content android layout center horizontal now android orientation is vertical and context is suppose main activity inside text view we have to write android layout android central horizontal truth and android bar center vertical is true then android text color is as use this code android textile is bold android text size is suppose 18 sp suppose text view is shopping cart demo for this example now change the name of the button id is second and text of the button check out save it now create to another xml file screen 2.xml and screen 1.xml now inside the screen 1 xml and we have to take the text view inside the linear layout and another text view and a button 
another text view and a button now <coughs> layout height and width are both match parent for screen1.xml and id of this text is not required here so layout height and width both are wrap content and android text color is and similarly android text style is bold and android text size is 18 sp and text is shopping cart content and change the id of the text view to to show cart and layout height and width of this text view will both wrap content so android center horizontal and vertical and change the text of this button to payment and ID of this button to third layout is linear layout now save it now create a leaves folder and android support before dot jar file library file inside this application and Create another two folders is values v11 and values v14. Inside values v11 folder, create styles.xml and add the style tag inside resources style name apps base theme parent android theme dot hollow dot light and inside values 14 that for android API level 14 or above inside style.xml you have to insert this <coughs> tag style name apps based theme parent android theme dot hollow dot light dot dark action bar now create a new xml file inside the values folder styles.xml and inside the style.xml write within resource folder style name is equals to app base theme parent equals to android theme dot light and style name equals to app theme parent equals to app base theme now save it now i'm gonna browse to screen to dot xml text to text view inside it uh, inside this text view change the id of this text view to an android text color is sorry text color is 988989 and android text style bold android text size is 18 sp and android text is thank you for purchasing product and for text view to change the id to show cut and save it final linear layout final linear layout layout is equals to linear layout 
find view by id r dot r dot id dot linear main and final button find view by id r dot id dot second and final controller now get a global controller class object final controller ct is controller get application context now create a product dummy data model products products equals to null create a new class model products dot java